I do. It's really that's something that's really important to me. It's really important to me. Again, it, it kind of echoes the comment earlier of saying that the music's given me so much, and I want to give back. Mm -hmm. uh, if there's any in the position I'm, I'm lucky enough to be in, if there's any way that I could give back and do something positive, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make damn sure that I'm able to do something like that. So. Whatever I can do, I really try to do, and I'm, uh, it's an important part to me. It's very important. And um, tell us about the work you did with Tim Martinez and Hate the Hate. Um, you promoted it like, two years ago. Yes. And how was it working on it, such a campaign like that, and you being openly lesbian? Mm -hmm. um, how does it feel like to like try to inspire people like yourself to like do better, like um, like do better, just to like. Um, not be afraid to be bullied or to like stand up against bullying. Absolutely. Well, when Tim came to me about it, I was like, oh, of course, I'm absolutely on board. To to the the thought of someone out there feeling really uncomfortable in their own skin because of who they love, mm -hmm. it is is troublesome for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm very lucky to have a really supportive family and to. Uh, be pretty fearless of, of, of I'm, I'm very openly gay. I, you know, I came out on national television for God's sake, so obviously it's not, you know, but that was scary to do too. And you know, when I was going through my own thing, uh, it was really hard for me to talk to my mom about it and I didn't want it to upset her and luckily that wasn't the case and same with my dad. But going back to the original point, when Tim came to me about that and all these stories that you were seeing online about you know, teens killing themselves, and because of them being ashamed of who they were and who they loved, it, it, to me that is so completely unacceptable. Yeah. And it's it's awful that somebody can persecute another human being for who they love. And this is all out of love and who they are. For someone to really be like, I hate you for this, and I'm going to harass you for this, I, I to another human being. I mean, how can we be so awful to each other? I just don't I, like. That part I don't understand. Fine, some people don't like each other. I don't like some people. That's I, I understand that. But I would never persecute or throw stones at someone because they like the color of yellow and I don't like it. You know, I just I'm just using a really stupid example, but I just can't. I don't understand, and I do understand. It's pure ignorance. Yeah. And maybe I, I and I do understand, and I I have zero tolerance for it. Mm -hmm. So anything I could help do to, to speak with people and have them feel really comfortable who they are, who they love, their their shape, what nationality they are, whatever it is, I want to help encourage a, a, a positive outcome instead of a negative one. I want them to know that they are not alone. I want them to know that there are resources out there. People such as, thank you, right on. I want people to know they are not alone. I want people to know that there are resources out there. They could contact people like me. They could contact people like Tim Martinez. They could contact people like Des Evil, one of my best friends. They could contact people out there. There's resources out there. There's people online out there. We, we are out there. You are not alone. Yeah. Just know that you are not alone. If, if anyone's giving you a hard time about your sexuality or nationality, or whoever you are, and someone's giving you grief about that, don't you ever, ever let them cut you down to size. Don't you ever let them cut you down to size. And you show them, you show them that you're a warrior and you're not going to have that because you have an army behind you that you probably don't even know about. Exactly. And that was so beautiful. Oh, well, I, that's how I really feel about it. Mm -hmm. I'm and I totally passionate agree. about that. From my heart to yours, I cannot thank you enough for sharing this very special night with all of us here on stage. I wouldn't be able to do any of this without Chuck Fett, without Aaron, and my brother back there, Danny. So please give it up for them. I've been my back for a long fucking time, and I love it.
Sure. Uh, I want them to know that there's a lot of sacrifice that goes into it. Uh, it will eat up your life and, and your time. Uh, I, I really recommend you doing some soul searching and make sure that's something you really want to do. And uh, uh, be the best that you can be. Uh, um, you don't have to be Ingve Mountstein or be like <laughs> spreading on your guitar or this and that. Just be solid. Be good. Practice. And and work with as many different people as you can. Yeah, that was true. one thing that really helped me out a lot is I, I've been able to work with various types of musicians. I've been able to record on Broadway albums. I've been able to do different things because I was working, I, I, I reached out and, and, and met different people literally on the streets of New York City. People would come up to me like, hey, you play? You know, they saw my bass or my guitar on my back. And I'm like, yeah. I met so many random people of like, well, let me check it out. And it's actually really good, or they, they're someone from Sony, or they're a songwriter, and this and that. And I've been able to learn so much because of just being so open to opportunity yeah. and putting out there the universe like I want to work with different people so someone young up and coming I recommend you know jamming with you know jamming with members of other bands for fun yeah I don't think that's a bad thing mm -hmm. uh, and practice get good if you happen to know another bass player that's really good see if they'll give you some pointers give you, give you some lessons luckily it's a different world now we have YouTube there's so many different resources you can go online and actually take lessons online, mm -hmm. all that good stuff. So I would encourage that and go out to other shows and, and have fun. We I started playing music because I loved it and it was so much fun. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of bullshit behind it, okay? From from the top to the very bottom and in between. There's there's a lot of you know musicians we're we're dysfunctional people. Okay? <laughs> we're dysfunctional people but we're lovable people and I just recommend just going out there, being the best that you can. Don't be an asshole, because no one likes an asshole. Mm -hmm. And just be just be cool and, and go out there and, and hustle. You gotta hustle. Yeah. You gotta hit the streets and, and you gotta practice and, and just go out there and have fun. If you're not having fun, then you gotta rethink what you're doing. Exactly. And where can we reach you? You can find me at GenCD.com. You could go on Facebook and it would be Facebook.com forward slash GenCity and that's J-E-N-N-C-I-T-Y. And I write back everybody. I love to connect. You can also find me on Instagram, GenCity, J-E-N-N-C-I-T-Y. And on Twitter at Miss, M-S, J-E-N-N-C-I-T-Y. Uh, I love to hear from you. Connect, say hello. And uh, I hope I hear from you soon. Lastly, I was yes. um, the show is called Keep It Metal. Yes. And I want to know how do you keep it metal? How do I keep it metal? By not giving a fuck! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and being from yes. Brooklyn, right? And being and <laughs> Brooklyn, baby. BK all day. Word. We love it. I love it. Thank you so much for having me. This you has welcome. been incredible. It was. I, it was so I enjoyed much fun it talking so to you. much. Yay! Thank you. And you guys out there, Keep the fucking metal!